Larry Allen Larry Christopher Allen Jr., born on November 27, 1971, and passed on on June 2, 2024, was a notable American football guard who had a distinguished 14-season career in the National Football League, NFL, predominantly with the Dallas Cowboys. He showcased his talents in college football with the Butte Roadrunners and the Sonoma State Cossacks, leading to his selection by the Cowboys in the second round of the 1994 NFL Draft. Renowned for his extraordinary physical strength and agility, Allen was considered one of the most formidable players in NFL history. Sadly, Allen passed away on June 2, 2024. Standing at 6 feet 3 inches tall, Allen's impressive contributions to the sport were honored with his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame on February 2, 2013. Net Worth and House Larry Allen had an estimated net worth of $22 million at the time of his death. He amassed the impressive sum from his successful NFL career, lucrative endorsements, and business ventures. In addition, in 2004, Larry bought a home in Danville, California, for $4.595 million. He later listed the 10,000-square-foot mansion for $7.5 million, but this price proved to be too high. Eventually, he sold the property for $4 million in February 2020. Cause of Death On Monday, the team announced that Allen passed away on June 2, 2024 while vacationing with his family in Mexico. Allen died at the age of 52. No additional details about his death were provided. The Jones family and the Cowboys extend their deepest condolences, thoughts, and prayers to the Allen family, the Cowboys said in a statement. We grieve alongside the many friends and Cowboys teammates who also loved Larry. End of quote. Early life. Allen grew up in Compton, California, and faced a difficult childhood. At six weeks old, he contracted meningitis and nearly died. When he was 10, he was stabbed 12 times in the head, shoulder, and neck by a young neighbor while protecting his brother. Allen attended a different school each year of high school. He started as a freshman at Centennial High School in Compton, where he lettered in football. For his sophomore year, he went to Tokay High School in Lodi, then transferred to Edison High School in Stockton for his junior year. He completed high school at Vintage High School in Napa, California, but did not graduate. Personal Life After retiring, Allen lived in Danville, California. He was married to his beautiful wife and had a family. His son, Larry Allen Jr., played as a guard for the Harvard Crimson football team and was signed by the Dallas Cowboys as an undrafted player in 2019. Additionally, his nephew, Dakari Allen, is a professional basketball player in the NBA G League. College Career Allen was not academically eligible to play NCAA Division I football, so he attended Butte College in Oroville, California. During his two years at Butte, the team achieved a 10-1 record each season, won the Golden Valley Conference, and Allen was named to the All-Conference and All-State teams both years. He was also honored as a JC All-American after his sophomore year. After a year away from school, Allen enrolled at Sonoma State University, a Division II school north of San Francisco. In his two years with the Cossacks, he allowed only one sack and was a two-time All-American. The Cossacks, primarily a passing team, set 10 new school records, including most yards gained, most touchdown passes, best game per completion rate, and highest passing efficiency. During Allen's senior season, the team set a school record with 334 rushing yards against Cal State Hayward. As a senior, he participated in the East-West Shrine Game and the Senior Bowl. Professional Career Larry Allen, renowned for his strength and versatility on the football field, enjoyed a distinguished NFL career from 1994 to 2007, mainly with the Dallas Cowboys and later with the San Francisco 49ers. Drafted in the second round of the 1994 NFL Draft by the Cowboys, Allen was the 10th offensive lineman selected and the first player ever chosen from Sonoma State. His draft stock had dropped due to concerns about his small school background and a rotator cuff injury. However, Allen quickly demonstrated his value by starting 10 regular season games as a rookie, tying a club record for the most starts by a rookie offensive lineman. His performance was pivotal in helping the Cowboys allow only 20 sacks that season, the fewest in the NFL, setting a then-team record. 
Allen earned all rookie honors for his contributions. He was thrust into the starting lineup just four games into the season due to injuries among the starting linemen, and his impressive play earned him several game balls, including one for keeping the Redskins sackless. Larry Allen had a significant impact in the playoffs, earning a game ball for his performance against the Green Bay Packers, where the Cowboys' offense accumulated 450 total yards. Despite spraining his left ankle during the game, he played through the injury, showcasing his resilience and skill. In the NFC Championship game, Allen played three quarters on his injured ankle before being forced to leave. The following season, in 1995, Allen earned his first Pro Bowl selection, starting a streak of seven consecutive Pro Bowl appearances. He was a crucial part of a dominant Dallas offensive line that helped Emmitt Smith rush for a franchise record 1,773 yards and set an NFL record with 25 rushing touchdowns. Allen's versatility was evident as he played both guard and tackle positions, often shifting based on team needs and injuries to other linemen. In 1998, Allen started at left tackle, protecting quarterback Troy Aikman's blind side, and earned consensus All-Pro and All-NFC honors. His blocking was instrumental in allowing just 19 sacks for the season, the fewest in the NFL, and helping Smith achieve seven 100-yard rushing games. Allen continued to demonstrate his dominance in the following years, earning multiple Pro Bowl selections and All-Pro honors despite battling various injuries. In 2002, Allen became part of what is believed to be the first NFL offensive line to feature five African-American starters. Although injuries limited his play that season, he returned strong in 2003, starting all 16 regular season games and the playoff game for the Cowboys. In 2006, after being released by the Cowboys, Allen signed with the San Francisco 49ers and continued his stellar play, earning his 11th Pro Bowl selection. His blocking helped running back Frank Gore set a franchise record with 1,695 rushing yards. Allen retired in 2007 after starting all 16 games for the 49ers and being voted as an alternate to the Pro Bowl. On August 29, 2009, the Cowboys signed Allen to a one-day contract, allowing him to retire as a Cowboy, cementing his legacy as one of the greatest offensive linemen in NFL history. In conclusion, Larry Allen's NFL career exemplifies his extraordinary strength, versatility, and resilience. Drafted in the second round of the 1994 NFL Draft by the Dallas Cowboys, Allen quickly became a cornerstone of their offensive line. Over his 12 seasons with the Cowboys, he earned 10 Pro Bowl selections and 6 first-team All-Pro honors, excelling in protecting quarterbacks and enabling Emmitt Smith's record-breaking performances. Allen's ability to play both guard and tackle was crucial in helping the Cowboys secure a victory in Super Bowl XXX. Despite various injuries, his determination and skill kept him performing at a high level. After being released by the Cowboys in 2006, he joined the San Francisco 49ers, earned another Pro Bowl selection, and continued to showcase his talent, helping Frank Gore set a franchise record for rushing yards in a season. Allen retired from professional football in 2007, but his legacy was honored when the Cowboys signed him to a one-day contract in 2009, allowing him to retire as a Cowboy. His contributions were further acknowledged with his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2013. Rest in peace, Larry Christopher Allen. You may be gone, but you will never be forgotten. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.